Um, in an article on Yahoo News, it says AIDS virus is a double hit to the brain, study shows. The AIDS virus damages the brain in two ways, by not only killing brain cells, but by preventing the birth of new cells, researchers reported. Secondly, it is a double hit to the brain, researcher Carl said in a statement. The HIV virus protein both causes brain injury and prevent its repair. The cocktail of drugs known as highly active antiretroviral therapy, HART, also treats that treats the HIV does not infiltrate the brain but allows for a secret reservoir of virus. And there are lots of articles as to what it does and how devastating the epidemic is, has gotten. This session indicates, dedicates, that ambush cures AIDS. This is a revelation that ambush cures AIDS. And in starting the revelation, we go to Second Chronicles. 7, verse 14, which says, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven and heal and will forgive their sins and heal their land. Welcome to the world community. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to those who are able to attend. And special thanks to Pastor Carter Robinson of the Eternal Rock Ministries and Mr. Dan Wright. If we turn to Psalm 100, it says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before its, his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and not we ourselves. Therefore, we were made by the Lord God. And it's not we who made ourselves. So if we were made by the Lord God, then he is able to fix us. So there is nothing that is wrong with us that he cannot fix. My name is Apostle Shada Bishe. I used to be Vernon Farmer. As you can see at the bottom of the website, I'm an ordained minister, an aspiring politician, a pharmacist, and being an aspiring politician, I had my name on the ballot for governor for the state of Florida in 2005. Therefore, whatever I'm saying here will be a reference to what will come, because this is not the end of me, this is the beginning. So I will be on the next election, hopefully, so therefore, Everything I say here will be not only as truthful as I see it, but as truthful as it can be proven. My story is that in August 2002, I was visited by the angel Gabriel, who said, I'm giving you the cure for AIDS. I said to the angel, there is no cure for AIDS. The angel says, do you believe I'm an angel? I says, yes. I says, okay, what is it? So the angel showed me the plant. I said, how you get it out? And it was this plant, it's a palm plant. I said, how you get it out? The angel showed me how to get it out into the liquid form. And it's three times a day, 60 cc three times a day for 21 days, and you cure the AIDS. In September 2002, I had the extract tested for poisons, arsenics, 
barbiturates, leads, and any poison that will be ill to the human body as we know it. There was none. I have all the records. God said, call it ambush. And it has nothing to do with Mr. Bush. So, what is ambush? How does it work? And why ambush? Ambush is a uranium isotope found in plants specifically for the cure of AIDS. How does it work? Before we go to how does it work, let us review the HIV cycle. With an HIV cycle, we look at the HIV um, cell here. And these represent the two strands of RNA. Now, the enzyme reverse transcriptase, which is one of the three enzymes that allows it to act on the human cell, the enzyme reverse transcriptase changes this RNA into a compatible DNA for the human DNA. So it starts out with an RNA, reverse transcriptase changes the virus to be compatible with the human DNA. In fact, what it has just done is that it has actually hijacked the process in changing from the HIV viral DNA, viral RNA, to the human DNA. This now allows the attachment of a portion of the human DNA into the original HIV RNA. Looking at it, it would look more like this for a graphical method, wherein this would have been the um, RNA changed to a DNA that is compatible with the DNA of humans. Therefore, it attaches to it. Um, the second piece of, the second um, enzyme is called the protease. Now what the protease does is it cuts the long strands of RNA that has been changed to DNA to form the new virus. Um, the new virus particle is then assembled into a new virus and it then kills the cell that it was in to form. It forms a new cell for itself and kills the whole cell. All right. In the scientific community, there are three types of drugs. The reverse transcriptase inhibitors, the protease inhibitors, and fusion inhibitors, to which there is about 26 different drugs but they only work on basically these three sites. Um, if I may, so these work by blocking these, these enzymes work as blockers. Reverse transcriptase inhibitors blocks the reverse transcriptase, therefore it does not allow the virus to replicate. Now, how does ambush work? Ambush works by killing the virus. It is the only substance known to man, or will be known to man, that kills the virus. It kills the virus by breaking the cell wall here. Breaks the cell wall and allows the white blood cells to engulf the interior of the organism, leaving us with a, an immunity because what, what we would have been left with for